am at a vacation destination. Go ahead and make a guess. Where do you think I am right now? I could be in Florida, in California, in the Bahamas maybe? Well, actually, this vacation destination might not be so tropical. I am here in Oxbow Park. So I may not be sipping smoothies from pineapples today, but I do want to show you just how beautiful nature can be. Nature is so peaceful and so, so wonderful. And I actually want to tell you guys a story today about Adam and Eve. You may have heard of them before. And the thing about Adam and Eve is when they were created, when they first lived, they lived in a beautiful garden. And honestly, I wonder if it looked something like this, this beautiful, beautiful place. Now they were in this garden, but in our story today, we are gonna talk about how sin entered the world. And when it did, Adam and Eve had to leave that garden and go work. And their jobs, I can promise you, were not as fun as mine is. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at our story today from Genesis chapters 2 and 3. To you from the great outdoors and wow is it great out here I mean not as great as a great trash can but still nice now see what's great about this place is there are so many things I want to pick I want to pick flowers and grass and leaves off the trees but you know what is horrible what is so stinky is Pastor Rachel told me I could pick whatever I want except poison ivy and poison oak. Can you believe that? She wants me to have the worst time ever. But you know what? She's not around right now. Mm -hmm. I think I'm about to go pick some poison ivy. I'm going to have the best time ever. <laughs> of three bring them to me wait a second why am I so itchy do I have spots all over me oh no I think the poison ivy made me itch oh this is the worst feeling ever oh. do you think that's why pastor Rachel told me not to pick poison ivy because she knew it would make me itch Oh, I should have listened to her. But I'm going to fix this. Now, what was it that gets rid of poison ivy? I think I need to go take a bath in tomato juice. Woohoo! No, Rusty, that is for skunk smells. <sighs> you know what? He is going to have to learn the hard way, as per usual. But in the end, Rusty was right. The only reason I told him not to pick poison ivy was because I knew it would make his skin itch. Poison ivy is poison to our skin. And that's basically the same thing that happened in the Garden of Eden with God and with Adam and Eve. You see, Adam and Eve, 
they lived in the Garden of Eden, which was a perfect place. They were surrounded by cute animals and delicious fruits and all sorts of beautiful plants. And that was their whole life. They never had to go anywhere that wasn't perfect. But God told them not to eat from one tree in the garden, just one. And that tree was called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now, sometimes when I read that and I think about it, I think, well, didn't Adam and Eve just want to be smarter? I mean, it's the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Wouldn't it be good for them to eat from that tree and get more knowledge? But here's the thing. In the garden, Adam and Eve already knew what was good. They were surrounded by goodness. And so the only thing for them to learn by eating from that tree was about evil and about sin and death. And that's why God did not want them to eat from that tree because there is no room for sin, for evil, for death in the presence of God. When we are with God, we are free from all of those things. But Adam and Eve, they didn't listen to God. They ate from the tree. They listened to the serpent who was the devil that was sitting in that tree telling them, just try it. And so they did. And because of that, they lost the entire garden. They had to leave because there was no room for those things in the presence of God. And so they left to go work and they had to plant things on their own in the ground. And whatever we try to do or try to plant is never going to be as good as what God does for us. So that's kind of a bummer ending to the story, isn't it? But the great thing is that isn't the end of the whole story. And that's why our memory verse today comes from the New Testament. Our memory verse today tells us that sin entered the world through one man, Adam, but that the fullness of life also entered the world through one man, which is Jesus. And so now, even though we aren't in the Garden of Eden anymore, we can still be in the presence of God. If we choose to follow him, if we pray to him and listen to him and have a relationship with him, then we are in the presence of God no matter where we are. And that's the good news. The great news is that even though sin entered the world and we couldn't be in this perfect place anymore, God still cares for us. He cares for us so much. He cared for Adam and Eve and that's why he told them not to eat from that tree because he wanted them to live happily in the garden forever. And he cares for you and me. And that's why he still talks to us today. He still talks to us through his Bible and through prayer today. He still loves us today. That is great, great news. So here's our starting line truth today. It's God wants what's best for us. Say that with me. God wants what's best for us. He does. That is why he sent Jesus into this world so that we can have life to the full. And that's why even in our Bible, you'll see that there are some things that we need to follow, some guidelines, some rules. And it's because God wants what's best for us. He cares for us so much. So Kingdom Kids, here is your challenge today. I want you to read Genesis chapters two and three. You can read it by yourself if you want, but I think it would be even better if you read it with people in your family. Then when there are things you don't understand, you can ask questions. And I'm sure the people in your family would love to talk about it with you and help you understand. And you know what? You can even ask questions about things you don't understand as far as rules go. Maybe you'll learn that some of the rules that your parents have are only there because they care about what's best for you. 
Then your second challenge is I want you to get your friends and neighbors together and play a game of Simon Says. It's a super fun game and while you're playing, I want you to remember that when we follow what God says, then we only have fullness of life. When we follow what God says, then the best things happen for us because what God says is best. So go ahead and play that game. Think about how much God loves you and have some fun. All right, Kingdom Kids, well, I will see you on Sunday. I hope that you can be there. And if not, I'll see you next Tuesday at 11 a.m. Bye, Kingdom Kids.